Hi, I'm Scott Flowers with Cloud Ninjas. Today we're here to continue our series on the Dell PowerEdge R240 server. In this video, we're going to specifically focus on how to rack our R240. Let's get going. Well, hey, thanks for stopping by today to learn a little bit more about the Dell PowerEdge R240 server. Do us a favor, if you find anything in this video useful, click that like and smash that subscribe. All right, so this video is going to be uh, focused on how to rack our R240. I will say that uh, the rails that we are using here, the, uh, the static rails uh, for the 240, um, aren't my favorite set of rails by any means. Uh, they're not quite as easy as uh, some of the other rails in this uh, series for, like, say, the uh, 640 and 740 and 740XD. Those are um, a little bit easier, in my opinion, uh, but we'll show you step-by-step instructions instructions on exactly how to rack it. Let's get going. All right, so here's what we're going to need to do first is we are going to need to remove the inners from the rails and actually install them onto the server first. So they will just slide completely out. So we're just going to pull them out. All right, so what we're going to do is uh, you see the rivets here. We're going to line up our holes with the rivets so we're going to start by pushing by lining all these up and getting them pushed in so make sure you have all three in and then you're going to pull back at one time to get them all locked into place so you see all three are locked into place and then if you wanted to take the inners off you simply just lift this up and then the clip will come back off and you can pull the whole thing off so it's just that easy to install the inners so now we'll do the inner on this side and i'm just going to go ahead and pull the uh, the inner rail out and then I'll flip this around right now. All right, so we've spin it around, so I need to flip this and put the blue back towards the front. And we're gonna do the same thing. We're just gonna line up the three rivets with our holes and lock this into place. So we're gonna start with the first one, get the second one lined up and the third one, and then at once we'll just push them all back and it'll lock into place. Now we're actually gonna physically put our R240 in the rack. All right, so now we're gonna install our outer rails. Uh, so simply, uh, I like to do this with two people. You could do it yourself, uh, but it's a lot easier with two people. So Angel's gonna be in the back. Uh, so we're gonna line these up on 15. So we're gonna take our pegs in the back and we're gonna install them. And then we'll do our uh, two in the front. And this will simply just uh, be a static rail that is uh, just hooked up to uh, the, uh, the 15th U and that's about it. If you wanted to remove it, uh, I'll show you that. That's this blue clip right here. So let's go ahead and install them 15. Okay, and then now I'm just gonna pull these up right here and I'm gonna, and you can see it and you can hear it, it clicked into place and now it's physically in there. Now again, if I wanted to remove it, uh, you'd simply just this blue button, you would just pull this forward and this would just come out. And again, I'll go ahead and I'll click this back into place right now and we're locked in. So now we'll go ahead and we will do the right side. So it'll say right here, right, point this to the front. We're gonna line this up on 15 again, of course, make it all nice and even. All right, his are in, and then I will lock these in. And again, if I wanted to remove it, you can see it's it's firmly in there. Uh, you would take this blue clip and you'd push it forward and you would take it out, okay? So that's simply how you would uh, get, get it into the rack. Now that we have the outer rails installed, uh, we simply are just gonna take the server and we're gonna position the inners to slide in perfectly. And we're just gonna slide our server in. So Angel, let's grab the server. So we're just going to simply take our R240, we're going to line the inners up, and yours in. All right, mine are in, so we're just going to simply push this back. And we've officially racked our R240, and you'll see it is locked into place, uh, and it's not moving. And if you wanted to actually remove it, Angel, will you do the honor? So you take these two buttons right here and you're gonna pull them down. So it's just that simple uh, if you wanted to take this back out. And now the R240 is out. So we'll go ahead and do that one more time. Let's go ahead and put it back in. Line it all up. Nope, mine it's not in. All right, there you go. All right, so let's just go ahead and slide it back. And again, 
it is locked into place and we are all set. Well, thanks for stopping by today to learn how to rack your R240. If you're looking for any custom built Dell, HPE, Supermicro, IBM, Cisco, we'd love the opportunity to earn your data center or your home labs business. Please email us at sales at cloudninjas.com. That's sales at cloudninjas.com. And hey, if you made it this far, click that like and smash that subscribe. Take care, guys.